So I am a 21 year old uni student and since I was in primary school, I followed my older sister, she's done like cross country and athletics. I followed that through to high school and then I needed to go to the gym to build up strength and endurance um, for shot put and discus, which I was competing in. And then the gym craze came through when I was still in high school. Everyone was going to the gym. Um, and so it just sort of became a lifestyle and a habit of working out. I remember when I first, like year eight in high school, like crucial moment of, you know, self-esteem issues. Um, there was a girl walked past and a bunch of boys, I overheard them say, oh, she's got great legs. And from that moment I was like, oh, my legs don't look like that. I don't have great legs then. And that was one thing I've just remembered throughout the years has sort of always been, just if I don't look like that, I'm not meeting the, the status quo or meeting what's, what's good and what's the norm. But it's been a process of learning how to look past that and be like, it's okay to not be that. There was a time probably when I first got back from America and it was just, I didn't have the funds to go to the gym. And that was tough because then I was like, I don't have my emotional relief. I'm not, I don't feel good about myself. If, you know, if I eat something and I put some weight on, there's like a spiral. Um, so any period of my life where I haven't been training, I feel less in control of myself. And that has never been a really good feeling. It always sets me back three times more, feeling that I'm not growing. For a while there, it was like all cardio, you know, lean out, get thin, like everyone else was going for that craze of thigh gaps and being skinny. So I followed that trend, but I could never, no matter how hard I tried, I could never get there because it just didn't fit me. And finally found a place where it was okay to be who I am and I don't have to follow the other trends. And so I just started lifting heavy because that's what makes me feel the best. Lifting heavy and then like doing yoga. And I think the, the journey of still, I know it's sort of cliche, but it's a big one at the moment, is like the self-love appreciating yourself for who you are. And I think that one I'm still working on every day and probably will be until the end of my days. It was so daunting when I first moved up here. It was actually really hard to make friends at uni and I really struggled with that. I thought, I've always been good at making friends. I will walk in there and I'll make friends right away. But everyone's so busy in their own lives that you go to uni, you do your work and you go. And I really struggled with that. Everyone already had their lives set up and I found that really hard and so going to the gym was me trying to find like-minded people to make friends. When I first signed up, I was just doing my own thing. I contacted a personal trainer in looking for a program and they set me up with that. We went through a couple of different sessions together. And then I went back to doing my own thing. I do love training by myself, but then I get super comfortable and do like the one thing over and over again. And that was my comfort zone until thankfully I got into the J series where I was pushed out of my comfort zone every session, all the time, and it's been good. So I did think a little bit about finance because I have to budget around a little bit. Uni students, we don't make a lot of money, if anything. Um, so I was like, okay, can I survive on what I've got if I was to pay additional money for this? I was kind of like, oh, it's probably just gonna be another, another promotional thing they're trying to put in to get more money, that it's not gonna be a session that works for me. I've done classes before in gyms, it's kind of whatever. I like doing my own thing. So I kind of got in my own way thinking it was something before I'd even tried it. Then I started the sessions and I was just like addicted. I was like, these are fantastic, like I love these. And I kept going back. So I've gone every week since then. It's so great having it there because if I make excuses of, oh, I'm not a morning person, then I'm like, well, you can go after work because there's one there. And if you, when you go, it's you don't have to think, you just do. You do all the work, they think for you and you just have to put the effort in. And when you leave, it's like, you feel so incredible. And so I have so much energy. Like one evening I did an afternoon session and I came back and I was, I watched a lecture and I did some uni work. And after six o'clock, normally my brain just like shuts down. I'm useless, I forget about uni. And this evening I came back and I cooked dinner, I did my lecture, I studied and I was like, oh great, it's nine o'clock, now I can go to bed. So it was really good, I love having that. I wouldn't get so much out of each session if it wasn't for the trainers. There's some they just know the right thing to say, when to say it, just to get me that 10 more reps or that one more rep. And um, they're just phenomenal. I, they're so good, they'll push you no matter what, they hype you, um, they move around, they'll help everyone and they know what works for everyone because they build that personal relationship. They get me over the line every time, so I'm so thankful.
before the, the class even starts, they do a demo and on the video it obviously has someone already performing the exercise and they show you again and they come around, they check your form, they'll give you tips, they'll give you alternatives, like if you can't do the first version, there's a second version or another modified version after that and you keep going so no matter what you do, you do it at your level and you get done what you can do. I think the one thing for me is I get to push myself and having that there, whether it's one session a week or 10 sessions a week, it's going that extra 10% that I, didn't, I can't do by myself. It's been good to develop a kind of community and a friendship through the J series. And especially after like you do a hard session with everyone and you go, that session was so tough. Oh my goodness, we survived that, good job. And then you'll see them around the gym the next week and be like, oh, hey, how are you going? How was your week? And it slowly starts building. Obviously, relationships take time, but you, know, you go through a hard session together, you bonded, kind of like throws you in and goes, you get to suffer together, but you're gonna be friends afterwards. So if I hadn't have signed up to J-Series or if I hadn't found it, I'm honestly not sure how the second semester of my uni would have turned out or my work, just life in general. Yeah, it kind of scares me. I think it would be dark if it was flowing on to how I was at the end of last semester and the uni holidays. It was not a good place. And I think not having J-Series would have led me probably even darker spiral. I don't know if I would have got the marks I'm getting at the moment. It sort of kept me on my goals and kept me moving in the right direction. And the J-Series has taught me that you can lift that extra heavy weight and you can do more. And I think that again has turned into a spiral effect in my life and you can push more in uni, you can study more and get better marks, you can develop better relationships and be a better person through life, work, social life, whatever. So it's the best thing you could do for yourself. Because I was sitting on the fence, whether it was just me not wanting to exercise because I was feeling lazy in the moment or financial whatever, I just jumping in was the best thing I did.